Hello, 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 hello everyone. Welcome back. And look who's here. It's Merald again. And today, Merald will tell story about the runway iceberg. All right, let's begin. Land ahoy, shouted Rosie, looking out to sea with her telescope. Shall we dive in and explore, Captain? You know I don't like swimming, Gaspar said with a, with a sign. Suddenly, a cracking sound came from below them. Before they had realized what was happening, a chunk of ice had broken off and Gaspar and Rosie were floating out to sea on an iceberg. Oh dear. Quick, swim, shouted Rosie. But Gaspar was afraid. I can't, he cried, peering into the deep dark sea below. The iceberg floated out farther and farther until they could no longer see land. What are we going to do? asked Gaspar, trembling. How will we ever get back? We're brave explorers, remember? said Rosie, holding Gaspar's flippers. We will find a way. Gaspar took a deep, deep breath. I guess we could use our flippers to row back, he said. But which way is home? Hmm. Lift me up, said Rosie. She climbed onto Gaspar's head, but she was still not high enough to see land. Try jumping, she suggested, giving him a little nudge with her foot. Gaspar jumped. And they both landed on the ice with a thud. Oh no. <laughs> Need some help finding your way? Asked a snow petrel from above. Oh yes, please, called Gaspar. Which way is land? It is this way, called the snow petrel flying high above them. Gaspar and Rosie used their flippers to row as hard as they could, but the current kept pushing them the wrong way. Need us to give you a push? asked an Antarctic silverfish from below. Oh yes, please, called Gaspar. The silverfish pushed the iceberg along until suddenly it became stuck. We'll never get through here, exclaimed uh, Gaspar. Need some help breaking through the ice? Asked a blue whale from the deep. Oh yes, please, called Gaspar. The huge flip of its tail, the whale smashed the ice and cleared the way. Gaspar and Rosie bobbed along behind it. Glad to finally be on their way back to safety. Lanahoy! Squawk the snow petrel. It's all been a great adventure, says Rosie, grinding. We're just like real explorers. The sun shone brightly in the sky as Gaspar Rosie is headed for home. Hey, stick to your side, Captain, laughed Rosie as Gaspar's tail feathers tickled her feet. I'm right on the edge, grumbled Gaspar. The two penguins turned to face each other in shock. The iceberg was getting smaller and smaller. It's melting, shrinked Gaspar. We need to move faster. The silver, the silver fish swam quicker, and the blue whale helped to push, but the ice was melting too fast. 
Well, have to swim from here, said Rosie. You can do this, Gaspar. I know you can. You are the captain after all. The silverfish started to cheer. Gaspar, Gaspar, Gaspar. Soon everyone had joined in and Gaspar began to feel braver. Gaspar go. Then with one big jump, he splashed into the water. Brrr, he spluttered. It's so chilly. Use your flippers, shouted Rosie, as she dived in over Gaspar's head. Whee, said Rosie, as she headed for home. Gaspar flapped his flippers and followed nervously behind. It wasn't long before Rosie and Gaspar were back home with their families. You did it, Captain, said Rosie. You got us through our most dangerous adventure yet. I guess I did, agreed Gaspar, feeling proud. But I couldn't have done it without my trusty first mate. The end. There you go. Thank you very much um, for listening and reading with Mr. Merrill. Okay, and Merrill will say goodbye for now. Okay, and hope to see you very, very soon. All right, and remember, okay, please, please stay safe and, of course, stay healthy. All right, bye for now. See you next time. Bye.